everybody, it's haul day. I don't know what that was all about. Um, I haven't done a haul in a while, mostly because my life has been bananas. Lots of travel, blah, 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 that's boring. Let's not talk about it anymore. But I am gonna do a haul today. And today's haul is all about dresses. So dress for success. Dad, dad, dad pun. Anyway, um, I'm excited. These are what I bought recently. And I'm just gonna show them to you. That's pretty much how this is gonna go down. Uh, also, if this looks a little weird, it's because I just went to a wedding and I sweat it all off. But I don't really have time because I'm leaving for India tomorrow to like figure this out. So if this doesn't look great, I don't care. I, I don't have time. If that's what you're here for, this maybe is not the video to watch. But if you're here for this, then you're watching the right video. I'm in a voguing mood. I just want to vogue, 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 vogue. That's not very good vogue. <laughs> I need to take voguing classes because I know it's about doing things like simultaneously and fast and stuff and like, I don't know, am I doing this right? I one time watched this video online about French tectonic dancing and they do stuff like this. And I stayed up for like four hours trying to do it. It did not happen. I just looked like this at the end. I was like hitting myself in the face and I was like, some dance styles, not my forte. Just move on. Okay, into the hall. Bring. So, let's first start with one of my favorite new basic dresses. I'm gonna scoot it back, huh? I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Let's scoot back a little bit. Okay. As I was saying, I keep doing this. I make a rabbit noise sometimes when I do a video. It's like, it drives me nuts. But it's who I am. Rabbit noise and all. Okay, so this black dress. Ooh, uh, it looks very basic. It has a nice ribbing, if you can see up close. Ribbed for your pleasure. See, it's basic, but it's actually kind of hot. Like, for just a simple black dress. Ba, 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 boom! I've actually worn it, if you can't tell by the stuff stuck to it, but it's a really comfortable black dress made of like a stretch cotton from ASOS. Nothing simple, there's a seam down the back, flat front, so there's only one seam. Uh, that you can see which is that back seam it is adjustable here at the back so you can make it shorter or longer depending on how much you want to show up here it's just a great all-purpose dress and that's why i have it in this haul because i think if you don't have a black dress like this that's super comfortable this is a great one this is an asos size 20. to do us 20 not uk 24. Then I have another amazing dress from ASOS. <gasps> Look at the prints. Beep. This, this is the best dress. Look how like it lives out. La, da, 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 da. This dress I've already worn and worked to my friend's wedding today, actually. I just threw it back on a hanger. Don't touch. It is gorgeous. It looks amazing on. The print is great. If you are blonde and blue-eyed like me, look at what that print will do to your face. My eyes come alive when I wear this dress. I really feel my best when I'm wearing this dress. My eyes come alive when this dress is hanging on my thighs because I love this dress cuz I'm dressed to impress okay it's got my favorite colors in it pink and orange and then the blue poppity pops my eyes it's made of a nylon mix I like it cuz it's not a stretch fabric it's an amazing dress that's not a stretch fabric yay this is an ASOS size US 22 I got that because there is a straight lining while this is really woo billowy you actually have a straight cut lining underneath it so, when you have a straight cut lining, I would suggest a size up if you're hippie. If you are not hippie, I would buy the waist 
size here because the bottom won't matter. Uh, I love this. It's actually off the shoulder. Adorable. It's like, no, it's like Sound of Music, hippie music, and rich ladies got together and make a dress, made a dress. I also really love the back here. It has this nice peak. So the curl does the curl. The ruffle doesn't go all the way around. It splits right at the zipper, which is also a nice detail. And I've noticed when wearing it, the sleeves really do stay in that right placement, which is sometimes really hard with Bordeaux style um, shirts. So love it. It's a midi as well. So it's super covering, super flattering. Love, obsessed. Best purchase of this haul. Saying it right now. Do, 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 do. Next, we have another dress from ASOS. I'm obsessed with the length of this. It's perfect. And honestly, I like that it's pretty big up here for me because when I do belt it, it's going to be so cute. This is an ASOS. I think I got it in a 24 because I wanted it to be baggy. And I sometimes find them with ASOS t-shirt dresses that they're really tight on my hips. I don't know why. So I always size up several sizes for t-shirt dresses with them, just as an FYI. Which is weird because when I buy an actual cut dress, I wear a 22 like I would wear my normal hip size. But for some reason with t-shirt dresses, size it up. Maybe I just like them baggier and they're made more bodycon. I don't know. This is really cool. So it has a lace inlay here. So it looks like it's overlaid on the leopard, but it's actually a very see-through. And then down at the bottom, we have similar lace details here, which is just really, really fun and different. It's something that I've been noticing uh, seems to be a trend, which is this lace accents on kind of more rebellious things. One thing I also want to call out is they did some really interesting sewing with the lace at the bottom. It's probably going to be ignored by 95% of the people, but I just wanted to call out the fun you can see it the fun way they've sewn that it's not a straight sew and I just think that is just a fun little inventive touch that probably again goes unnoticed but is a nice thing that I like to find and note in a piece of clothing um, you have no center seams just side seams everything seems to match up quite nice and it's it's lovely and this is a great way to dress up something that's generally very comfortable uh, and is gonna look awesome so girly and sporty together yay Again, green is a great color if you're blonde. This olive green actually tends to look good on a lot of skin tones, so it's very friendly. And what I also love is this can be sexy, it can be rock and roll, it can be, you know, sporty. It has so many different looks that it works for. It's a very, very versatile dress. It's a nice cotton, so it is very breathable. I believe it is 100% cotton. I'm just gonna give you this. Well, except for the lace, of course. Uh, just to confirm, it is 100% cotton. The lace is made of polyester, so if you have some type of allergy, it's only gonna be at the boobalas and then down here at the, at the trim. Next is a dress that was sent to me from Dia & Co, which I did an amazing unboxing with them. I'll put the link to it if you haven't watched it, where I opened up their box of stuff that they sent me. It's a lovely check print. I'm holding it up to the camera because it's kind of hard to see from away because the camera likes to like optical illusion it. But and look how like big they look. Yeah, get them, girl. This dress is a banging. It makes me look like I have boobs. We've all known this if you watched me before. These are not huge. You know, I'm rocking like a BC, if I'm lucky. Like, it's a B, but I say it's a C. You know, with a little padding, a little help. Let me grab my chest again. Let me grab my chest again. It's a, it's a day. It's a day. <laughs> Uh, so it's lovely little dress. I love the details here of the flipped over seam. So the reverse of the fabric is the black and white, you know, the exact opposite of the area. So they have flipped that fabric up and it offers a nice little contrast that aligns, which is really nice here in the shoulders. And then here in the back, you see the split. Again, I love these little details that make a dress look really nice. It is a full pleat, so this is great for all figures. An A-line shape really does flatter everyone. One of the things I also love about this dress is it's very versatile. So with the button up front, I could put a longer sleeve shirt underneath this and make it kind of a cool hip look for the winter season. So like a turtleneck would be really fun. I can also, with this, uh, button it up, put a cardigan over it and maybe a nice little scarf and use it as almost just the skirt part. So it looks like a dress, but it's a skirt. I mean, it looks like a skirt, but it's a dress. Um, that's why I was saying this is a really good travel dress. It also doesn't wrinkle. It's one of those amazing fabrics that doesn't wrinkle. You know, I feel like I should wrap things around my face because I do that a lot. Fashion.
Vogue, Vogue. Back to the voguing. I can't do it. Okay, yeah, so it's a lovely, lovely dress. Love it. Next dress. So this is a dress I got from uh, Amazon, and it didn't come in time for my Amazon haul, so it just showed up, and I was like, well, I'm doing a thing of dresses, but bam. See what I mean? I want it to be just like a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. Sorry, you know, a little, a little clunk. That's like an old song. So it's another A-line. It's a little bit short in my opinion. So this is about, I want to say three inches above the leg. And it's a nice A-line as well. The challenge I have with that is I feel like A-lines to me, I don't like wearing them over leggings. I don't think they look right. They look right with tights, but for leggings for some reason bother me. And with A-lines, I get nervous because the wind likes to lift those things up. I mean, I don't know if in high school people did this, but people used to flip like the cheerleader skirts up because they were short. That's how I feel about these. Like they would like, whoop, and then you could see the butts. That's how I feel about the wind and the stress. So you do have to wear tights or leggings underneath it. I am HO. We talked about that before, my own humble opinion. It has a zipper down the back. I've never used that. I put it on over my head. It has a strap here to tie. Overall, I mean, I think it was a $25 dress. It's nice. It's like a stretchy cotton, so it doesn't feel super cheap. It's got a little give to it, but not a ton. I bought a 3X in this dress. It does run a little bit smaller, and um, it's cute. Again, I wish it was just like two or three inches longer and I think it would be perfect. You'll, I'm, I'm sure you can see what I mean from the video next to it. It just, it just needs like just a little bit of length from the style it is and it, it drives me nuts that it's just a little short. With body cons it's easier because if they start to creep up you like know, but with this like you don't know. You don't know because it's windy all the time, right? So your butt could be out for like everyone to see and you wouldn't know because the breeze was there anyway. This dress is from Just Fab. It's a little weird. So I find with Just Fab, in my opinion, I actually really love this color. Um, it looks better here with me. I don't know why it's looking more blue, but it has a more teal color to it. So I'm gonna tell you right now, for some reason, this one looks more bluish when it's actually more tealish. And I actually love the color here. When I look at it in the camera, I'm like, ooh, I don't like that so much. So it's something weird about this color when it's filming. Seriously, dresses like this are like, speed bump, speed bump alert. <laughs> boop -a -boop. Boop -a -boop. <laughs> it's a little weird what I find with just fab is they don't give a ton of room on the hips so I think it is actually supposed to be more of like a relaxed fit around the booty in the fit of the model but on me it's like a bodycon on the booty and that's solely because my butt's big and they tend to size small on the butt so note that when you're shopping with them if you are pair size up so this is a 3x three, three and three quarter sleeve, very nice. It is a stretch kind of viscose fabric, so it's got a little give to it, but not a ton. It's got nice little pockets down here and a uh, kind of a ruched, what do you call elastic waist or a sheared waist. Again, that's supposed to pull in the waist. Likely, this would fit a lot better for apple shapes. If you're an apple, this is your dream dress. Also, would look good on anyone that's an inverted triangle with a bigger chest and a smaller bottom. I think it still looks good on me, but I think it would look better on those shapes. So check it out. I got this in a 3X. Boom. This is a dress from Old Navy. It's a 2X non plus size, so it's just the story you get 2X. See what I mean? Like, you need leggings under this because it's another one of like those billowy, whoo, <laughs> kind of dresses. But it's cute. I like it over the leggings with a belt like a sled. <laughs> I find with that maybe they bring really, really large, just straight up. I should wear a plus 2X, but if I buy a plus 2X, it's a lot of times too big. So I buy a regular 2X if it's a top and fits out. If it's fitted all the way down, then I will buy a uh, plus size. And so it's just a straight, again, ribbed shirt. I won't make the condom joke again. And it's about two to three inches above the knee. This actually looks amazing with leggings because you put a little belt and it looks rock and rollish. I've actually already worn it in India and it was super comfortable. Loved it. Um, has just the right arm length. This is a perfect little dress for spring over some crop leggings. Uh, I love Old Navy for basics. I don't shop them often for design items, so I did just get an amazing suit from them, which I am <gasps> so excited to show you guys when I go on my trip in March because it is bananas. It is so hot. Anyway, 
I will talk about that later. But this dress is great, great basic. Stripes are so in right now. This is an easy way to get some stripes in your wardrobe for not a lot of money. Last, another super basic piece. This is also from Old Navy, also a 2X. And I will go back to the lad. And da 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 da. I wish the words I knew them well. But I'll go back. I'll go back to black. I see the Sorry. Sorry. I got, I got, I feel like I had to recover from like where that went real sour and then it got better and then whatever. I'm here. I'm here in a dress. <laughs> this is just a black tank dress. A summer essential really. Fits under things. Wear it under a dress. I mean, not a dress. Wear it under a shirt. Uh, it can really go a lot of different ways. They have this in a variety of different colors. I picked black because I needed a black kind of dress just for when I travel to be something I can just like throw on and get on a plane. So I probably actually will wear this on the plane tomorrow. It's really comfortable. It's that soft kind of stretch jersey and uh, pretty breathable as well. So I'm excited about this just because it's comfortable. It's not anything fancy. It does fall about the same length as the olive dress. So about two to three inches above the knee. So I would wear leggings underneath this personally. Um, or maybe not, like in the summer I would probably not wear leggings, but right now I will be wearing leggings underneath it. And yeah, it's cute. I think it's a fun little dress. So, thank you so much for watching my haul. I have a lot of fun making this. And I'm going to be editing this on a plane. So you can think about me on my plane, hunched over like this, with probably somebody I don't know, hopefully not smelly, please not smelly, to the left of me, typing and cutting and putting everything together so you can watch it. Yay! Um, so I'm excited, yes, to finally have another haul. And I might even film another one today, but that's a little ambitious. Probably not Vogue Vogue. So I'm going to Vogue through it. It's getting worse. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Have an amazing week. I love you all. That sounded mean. No, I really do love you all. I just was trying to do a weird, ugh, I came out wrong. Anyway, I do love you all. I will check you guys later. And yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm trying to incorporate your feedback so you guys ask for sizes. So I did say sizes in this video. Hopefully that helped some of you pick out what to wear. Just so you guys know, I typically wear a size 22 to 24 on the bottom, depending on the hips, a 20 if it's fitted at my waist, because my waist is actually a lot smaller than my booty. On top, I'm wearing about an 18, 20. So this dress is a bodycon dress. As you can see, it fits me quite well. I've got some extra room. It's not super tight on me. And um, you can see it's like loose here. Uh, and this is a this is a 1820. So I'm trying to give you guys some idea of what I wear so you can figure out what might work for you. Oh, I'm also five, nine and a half, five, ten-ish. Height wise. Now you know. Check you later, guys, and have an amazing day. Peace. Oh my God, oh my God.